Hey kiddos, um, so at this point you have your formative all filled out and now you're going to start your summative. And the summative you can, you know, quote unquote say it's the last one, it's your best attempt at creating balance, creating some awesome patterns, and having some really nice craftsmanship, making sure that you're using your Sharpie and uh, balancing the different types of patterns. Uh, if we were in the classroom, we would also be adding color to our summative. Um, at this point, um, when we are done with the summative, we're gonna leave it black and white. And in the case in which, uh, if we return to the classroom, uh, if and when we return, um, we'll add color then. Um, if, um, as far as grades, um, end of the week, you guys will be turning in your summative and I'll grade the black and white. If and when we go back and add color, I will then regrade them in person. So um, once you've got the summative, keep the summative, don't lose it, don't throw it away. Um, keep it in that plastic folder with all of your other paperwork. Um, so going back to, um, here is my formative. And I wanna talk about some areas that I will change. Okay, um, this pattern here, um, it got a little bit too sloppy and because there's a lot of darkness in it, it started fighting with this one. So I'm going to use less bold dark lines. I may even eliminate uh, maybe one of the ovals inside the larger oval just so that it's not so heavy. Um, and I think that's for sure the only pattern I'm definitely going to do some modifications to. At this point, um, if you're seeing or noticing a, a balance issue, maybe you've got a pattern on the outskirts that's a little bit too dark, you'll want to change it so that your summative uh, incorporates more balance. If you're noticing that a lot of your patterns look the same, now's your chance to change it. Okay, but essentially, we're going to take this version that you already have, and we are going to trace the skeleton. Okay, now the original, the original template had these squares and triangles on them. Don't trace those. We really only want those ovals. Now, the best way to trace, and the way that I traced it, was I took my summative paper, Okay, you got these summative papers on March 13th and you put them in your folder. It's a nice smooth paper and it's already cut in a square for you. You'll want to take your template, center it as best as you can, and then I held mine up to a window and I literally, with a very light pencil, just traced those ovals. Okay, and right now with my Sharpie, I am not, not going to outline them, okay? I can decide that later if I think that it's going to make a difference. Right now, I'm just going to leave the pencil. Now, I am going to go ahead and redraw the patterns that look um, like they don't need any changes. Obviously, uh, there's an area here. Let me point out, do you notice how the Sharpie extends? And then I've got these, I can see where I've stopped and I've started. And that's because I was going too fast, okay? I was just going boom, 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 boom. At this point on your summative, you want to take careful consideration and making sure that your lines start and stop where you want them. You've got this narrow sheet that came along in your packet. You can practice your Sharpie on here, okay? This also gives you a nice straight edge. Uh, you'll notice that this pattern has some straight edges. This one has some straight edges, and so does this one. So you can use this as a guide for drawing straight lines, okay? That will be very helpful. And then you just go ahead and very slowly and carefully fill this in. Okay, today is Monday, so start this. And you don't, I wouldn't recommend 
using pencil for everything um, because these patterns you have practiced and you should be able to go straight into Sharpie. But like I said, if you needed to trace, get some straight lines with a pencil, do that. Later this week, I am going to give you another demonstration video. And this demonstration video is how, it's gonna show you how to photograph these. Um, I appreciate everybody who has turned work in, um, but um, we need to take better photographs. And it's not your camera's fault, it's not your phone's fault, it is um, the lighting's fault and contrast. And so I'm gonna show you how to make those modifications uh, in uh, Google Photos. It's real simple, it's not difficult. Okay, once again, of course, email me if you have any questions or concerns and have fun with this.